So the long awaited follow up to the follow up of window trim is here. And I will say that this trim that I also bought off eBay that you'll find linked in the description has held up remarkably well. In fact, it looks great. It's now been two summers and well, we're in the middle of summer two. The first one barely held up, didn't even hold up a summer and it looks great. I mean, it's really doing great. So I think it's a matter of which type you buy. There are good ones and there are bad ones. I will also say for all the haters, this is the original electric tape. Hasn't come off yet on either side. Here's the other side. Again, just electric tape. It's been like two years and still hanging on there. So good prep and, and good application. It's hanging in there. There's certainly other stuff. You could plasti dip it uh, or you could do lots of other things. Feel free to do those. But just, you know, FYI, looks good. Here's the other side. Also looks great. So it's not all bad. OEM trim is great. Although I will say that I went with a much darker look on my GX and I really like it. Um, so, you know, it kind of goes with that overall blacked out look. Same thing here, there's that blacked out look. Really like it. Plasti dip on the back, hyper dip on the wheels, plasti dip on the front grille. It's time to redo the headlights. Maybe I'll make a video on that, but there is the front grille. Overall, still love the look. Um, it's held up incredibly well. The hyper dip has held up incredibly well. Uh, to say no complaints, it's more like uh, all kudos. So there you go. There's a follow-up. Just pick the right trim.